Nemesis officially reopens to the public in three days time. Three days time. But what can you expect from the opening day and what will Nemesis Reborn's opening day look like? That's right, what's happening everyone? Joe here from Theme Park Insanity and yes, today I'm going to be sitting down and discussing all of my thoughts and expectations for Nemesis Reborn's opening day this Saturday. We're literally just three days away now. And it's unbelievable. I can't believe it's come around so quickly. After nearly 18 months of this ride being closed and getting completely rebuilt and new additions added, it's finally opening on Saturday, March 16th. But before we do get into this, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and again, if you do, smash the like button to let us know. But without further ado, let's get into this. That's right, so after 18 months of being shut when it originally shut in November of 2022, Nemesis has officially undergone a massive transformation in readiness for its 30th anniversary this year, which technically falls on the 19th of March. Now, the ride originally opened on that day. Of course, we know now that Nemesis Reborn will open this Saturday, March 16th, so we're pretty much in and around the exact date near enough when it kind of opened. And it's going to be an absolutely incredible day. Now, Nemesis Reborn, of course, has undergone a significant transformation. It's had a whole brand new look. They've completely reimagined the monster. They've completely replaced, I would say, a good 90% of the track. Um, of course, you know, it has a whole different colour scheme now as well. They've got brand new trains and so much more. So we already know exactly what we can expect from the actual ride itself and what the ride's going to look like. But what can we expect from the actual opening day itself and what will Warren Towers actually do to welcome this uh, highly iconic roller coaster back to their park? Well, let's have a little bit of a discussion as to exactly what I think and then of course in the later in the video we'll also hear from Elise as well. So when Nemesis closed for the last time in its original form back in November of 2022... Alton Towers really did kind of go all out in terms of actually shutting this ride and really teasing exactly what we can expect from the storyline that's going to be behind this rebirth of the ride. Now, of course, Phalanx, you know, this big military organisation that supposedly, you know, were originally brought in back in 1994 to kind of contain the Nemesis creature and obviously pin it down with the trap, were brought back into focus once more. We had the brand new Phalanx spokesperson, Robert Dalton, who kind of officially announced at the end of the fireworks that Nemesis would be closing and they were literally putting her to sleep. And then ever since this, we've kind of had this really kind of theatrical narrative playing out over the last 18 months where we've almost had this kind of sort of insider that's been bringing us, um, you know, this inside look as to exactly what the real purpose behind Nemesis's closure was and obviously what the phalanx are actually up to. We've had that whole kind of um, logo and then, of course, you know, the hashtag Seek the Truth. Um, Nemesis itself, though, is going to really kind of bring a new era of the ride to the resort when it does reopen. And when it does do that, we're in for some seriously big changes. Now, of course, we already know that the Nemesis creature has undergone a significant transformation, as I said before. Uh, in terms of what it will look like, we know, obviously, that it's a whole different colour now. It's, it's kind of that red and sort of grey and, and black. That's kind of what they've gone for as a whole with the whole sort of ride itself. Um... Of course, black in there too. We know that the eye itself is going to be ringed around these big razor sharp teeth. Um, that it's going to be a very kind of sort of vengeful creature. It's got these big attack spikes on it now, and apparently it's got like uh, acidic saliva and all that sort of thing. I think with the actual eye itself, we're going to see that animated, maybe using screens and having smoke and stuff around it. There's rumours that certain parts of it might move, but of course we don't know that for sure. Um, if anything's going to move, I predict that obviously the teeth will kind of sort of do that maybe. Uh, in terms of that though, you know that's kind of what we can expect from the actual creature itself and the surrounding area of course uh, is going to look very different as well it's undergone a major uh, reimagination they've kind of turned it into reimagining rather uh, they've turned it into kind of sort of like phalanx uh, military facility we've seen the introduction of helicopters we've seen brand new buildings being built or you know existing kind of structures replaced and there is literally there is so much that we can look forward to it's going to be a much more immersive experience when we do step into Forbidden Valley now, in terms of what Alton Towers will do to welcome this ride back, I'm predicting a big theatrical welcoming back. I'm predicting phalanx people absolutely everywhere. The whole area overrun with phalanx personnel trying to shepherd and herd people, that sort of thing, keep people safe from this nemesis creature that's basically gone absolutely berserk and started ripping things apart the ground, throwing track everywhere, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm kind of predicting a very kind of chaotic atmosphere in terms of the acting side of things, uh, in terms of obviously, you know, sort of what all Towers and their entertainment team are planning to do with that. It's just going to be a very kind of sort of like um, 
mad kind of experience, I think, more than anything else. Of course, the atmosphere itself is going to be absolutely amazing. And when we look at what they did last year for the opening of Curse of Ultimana, that was really theatrical. We had lots of actors kind of kicking about. We still got that all the way through last year as well. There was always actors in and around the area. We believe and we've heard rumours they plan to keep it that way with also Forbidden Valley this year too, having kind of nemesis, uh, rather phalanx personnel kind of kicking around as well in terms of obviously kind of keeping that military facility style feel alive. Um, and also as well, the one thing I'm really hoping for, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well, is the return of the Red Rivers. Well, at the moment, we've not heard any kind of sources confirming that, you know, Alton Towers are working to do that. Uh, we're not actually predicting we will see those back for opening day. I'd love to do that. I'd love to see that happen. But at the moment, I'm not really expecting that. So if it does happen, that'd be a real bonus. But... I think, obviously, with the fact it will be its 30th year, it's a really significant milestone for the ride, a really significant milestone for the attraction, and it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day on the 16th of March. It really is. It's going to be busy as hell, and we're probably going to have four-hour queues for Nemesis. Make no mistake, it'll be like opening day once more uh, when the ride originally opened in 1994, but it's going to be a really, really, you know, kind of <laughs> exciting, incredible day. I'm, I'm just so pumped and so excited to actually get back on this ride. And yes, I will quite happily wait as long as it takes to do that. But I'm predicting a big theatrical welcome back for Nemesis. I'm predicting actors absolutely everywhere. I'm predicting brand new merchandise, of course, a brand new merchandise shop. And so much more as well. It's going to be an incredible day. And those are my thoughts. But let's go over to Elise and hear exactly what Elise has to say about what she expects for all the opening of Nemesis Reborn this Saturday. Okay, so my thoughts on Nemesis Reborn and what's going to happen. Um... So I think my thoughts are very similar to what Joe and Matt and most other people think, I think, on this one. So one thing that I'm really hoping for is that the Red Waterfalls, the blood as we call it, will return. Um, it's something that, you know, has gone for a while due to not being able to find a sort of, I believe it was because they couldn't find one that was environmentally friendly. Um, hopefully they've now worked out something there, which would be great to have that back. Just imagine that and the with late night riding, if they had lights behind it as well in some places, just to really make it pop out, I think that'd be really cool. Um, other things that I think I'd like to sort of see, which I'm hoping for, um, I'd love to see the inclusion of some mist and water effects as you're going around. Like the, that'd be sort of cool to have that as well. Um, and also who, who doesn't love a bit of mist and stuff? Um, there's a lot of interaction that we're hoping for as well with the Nemesis creature. We've obviously heard that there's changes to it. Um, one of the things that I'm really sort of leaning towards is that there's going to be some sort of interactive element on the eye of the creature. Um, it's been a big part of the marketing, so I'd like to see that as a, maybe as a screen, sort of like digital thing, digital animatronic projected screen or something like that. So when the car goes past, it'd be cool if it sort of like followed the train. Um, I don't know how possible that would be but even if it's just reacting and looking around um could even have some effects that trigger with it um one of the things that i don't think will happen would be that the creature moves in any way but that would be kind of cool with, like the spikes and stuff if they were just to kind of like you know go sort of almost look like it's breathing in a sense because that'd be quite cool um but that's just something that i'm thinking of which would be completely crazy um Obviously, we've heard that there's going to be, well, we've heard slash seen there's new theming elements going into the area. Um, I haven't really been looking at the changes to the area and the new theming because I'm trying to, trying to keep it a bit of a surprise for opening day. But I reckon the changes in the area would be quite significant and something to see as well. Expectations for opening day specifically. Um, hopefully, we'll have a big opening ceremony with a bit of interaction and immersion with the Phalanx actors and maybe even maybe even something to do with Seek the Truth. So obviously when we had the promotional trailers for the ride originally, we had those little sort of information leaks that were coming from the Seek the Truth people and the videos that were being leaked as well. I'd love to sort of see if maybe those two groups could come together somehow in this area or just on the opening day. Um, but one of the things I'd love to see continue even after opening day, very similar to what they did with the Curse of Alton Manor with the roaming actors around there, have a similar sort of thing in Forbidden Valley with the Phalanx, um, similar to what they've been doing for the last season with them all around the sort of viewing platform. But something like that around the entire area would be quite cool, have some sort of interactive element with them there, because I think that'd be quite cool to see. But on the topic of the roaming actors and the opening day ceremony, 
one of the things that we've had on our mind quite a bit is will we see the return of the phalanx head um the guy with the cool mustache um he was really quite popular on twitter well x as we now call it so i i know obviously we sort of saw him in the last part of the videos where he appeared where he kind of disappeared and was assumedly killed by the nemesis creature but will we potentially see him return in some format maybe even just for opening day because i think that'd be quite cool as to as to how he could return i have no idea but if he did that would be quite cool as like a disheveled spokesperson or something like that because that'd be quite cool to see um but yeah, I'm I'm really excited to get back on Nemesis um, and see how it is in the Reborn state. Um, there's there's so many things that they could do that I've not mentioned, and there could be even stuff that Joe and Matt haven't mentioned as well. So yeah, we're looking forward to getting down there. And yeah, if you are there on opening day, come and say hi. We'd like to see you. But yeah, those are my thoughts. So there we have it. Those are Elise's thoughts on exactly what she expects for Nemesis Reborn. Of course, quite similar to mine as well in terms of what she's sort of expecting to see. Uh, again, the Red River's there, kind of one of her expectations there as well. I'll be interested to see if that does happen. And yeah, it's just going to be an absolutely incredible day. Now, I would advise you do arrive early. The gates are going to be opening up from 9am on Saturday morning. If you have managed to book express parking like I've really been lucky enough to do, then of course you're going to be nice and close to actually getting in through those turnstiles. But the one thing I would expect really is massive queues I would expect big volumes of people and I would expect a big demand for the ride as well of course it is a sellout day on Saturday it's going to be really really busy but at the same time it's going to be an absolutely fantastic day it's kind of almost going to kind of take us back to the nostalgia of 1994 when Nemesis originally opened and the fact that we're going to see this happen now in this whole brand new format but it's a whole brand new look for Forbidden Valley and a whole brand new look for the ride as well I'm really excited. I really, really, genuinely, I'm so pumped right now. And I'm sure that if I see you there, you know, if you do see us, please feel free to come over and say hi. We're very approachable. Love to say thank you to you all in person for obviously, our, you know, your support as well. But yeah, it's going to be an amazing day and we really hope that you do have as much of a great time as we plan to have as well. So there you have it. Those are our thoughts and expectations as to what we expect Nemesis Reborn's opening day to look like on Saturday. Literally this Saturday. As I said, three days away. I'm counting down the hours. I'm so, so excited, as I said before. And I'm sure a lot of you are as well. The fact we're going to get back to Walton Towers, we're going to get back on the rides there as well, is a fantastic day. We've got the reopening of Hex to look forward to later this year. But of course, Nemesis really the focus at the moment uh, for this Saturday. And of course, as I said, it will be an amazing day. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below what are you expecting to see from the reopening the nemesis on saturday march 16th uh, how do you expect the reopening to look what are you expect in seeing forbidden valley how do you expect all of the areas to kind of look as well do let me know in the comments below guys but for now if you have enjoyed this video as ever please consider hitting that subscribe button turning on notifications and again if you have smash that like button to let us know and of course Subscribing to the channel is completely free. It really does help us a lot more than you realise. And as ever, we really appreciate all of your support as well. So thank you all so, so much. But for now, I'm Joe. This is Theme Park Insanity. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.